Now in prime time, from the Bay Area's local news station, you're watching Cron 4 News at 8. We know we're seeing epic flooding in North Carolina. This is a state that has been used to floods. The wind has really picked up. The rain has gotten a lot heavier. The beach is now up on the boardwalk. This is about a foot and a half of sand or so. But we've never seen floods like this and this widespread. This is one of the largest ones we've seen. I mean, this one completely uprooted. And a lot of people are displaced. And you know, it's hard to leave home. Uh, you miss it as soon as you walk out the door. We're going to a, a place where there are some high water rescues that are necessary. But tens of thousands of North Carolinians have had to do that this week. And the family who lives here tells me they expect the water to come to their door to their home on the second story. As this storm continues to churn through North Carolina, it has dumped nearly two feet or more of rain in many places. The strongest storm bands are dumping two to three inches of rain per hour. That's enough to cause flooding in areas that have never flooded before until now. Swift water rescues are now underway in parts of the Carolina. Florence has wreaked havoc, claiming the lives of at least 18 and pushing thousands of others into public shelters. Good evening. I'm J.R. Stone. And I'm Justine Waldman. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on Cron 4 News at 8. As the rain subsides in some areas, the floodwaters continue to rise in others. That's really complicating the efforts for first responders. Natasha Chen is in New Bern, North Carolina, with the latest on Florence's wrath.